Here we see the best show tonight. Again, guys, this is best out of five. So it's going to be a big show, right? If you Are we going to see a full five matches? Can you predict the results, Fade? Like the final results? Welcome to Mobile I don't think Legends. it's going to be a full five matches. Maybe four. Four? Like that? Oh. Three to one to who? The battlefield. Uh, Smash them. I have to go at eight years. They're going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Coming to game one, you can see AE already taking this game uh, really aggressive now with a four-man down mid lane. Uh, and now on the other side, we have two people from Silva. Uh, thanks to the power of Selena here. It's actually played by Zero. Very interesting. They have best player playing on uh, the Carmela. I think Gosu is running a lot of position changes. What do you think of Meanwhile, AE engages and Tinker will secure the rat away from Gosu, finding first blood on zero. Wow, I was just ana analyzing the starting roster for each side. What do you think about the, the roster position swap from Gosu again? I... The Carmilla solo lane, I don't think it's better than Jawhead. It's just... it's The wave clearing is so slow. I don't know, like... Wow. It's not that. Yeah, he's just there for the invade, but like, he was waiting for them to invade blue. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Mind you. This is a general on Jaw has support. You know, we. Oh, meanwhile, on the bottom side, we have one more kill coming out of Tinker on the Uranus. Talking about burst damage, which we, I mentioned before, Uranus is not so good against burst. He's really good against, like, take damage, but when you come to burst damage, it's not the best. And now you can see the top lane. Jimmy getting a little poke throw comes down, Tofu Purify comes out. General taking a little bit of poke right here. It's just a trade on HP and skills, but nothing so serious is gonna come out now. Selena making an entrance, make it four versus three. Is A gonna gonna temporarily back away? The stun connects onto Tofu, who's taking a lot of poke. Able to dash away just in time though. PDR making an entrance. Kufa on the side looking to engage. PDR taking very little. Have to pop the flicker. Kufa engaging the fast into the back, and Tinker jumps in. It's instant wipe to Team Ghostu. This is the power of Lancelot at its fullest. Now one more stun from Kurfab yet again. Double kill to the Tinker, and A is popping off. You know, Dave, the Gosu was uh, abusing their early game damage on AE there, but the late engage from Lancelot and Kufra really messed them up there because the first engage, they were just gone low by uh, Bruno, Valir, and Ch Yeah, and now the engage is yet again on the top side. It's not going to continue on this. I think they just want to cut this wave and get out of there. And sure enough, that's what they're doing. Mid lane. Yeah, Bruno versus Uranus bottom lane. What do you think about top tier one tower has been taken down? What do you think about the lane position right now? I got Bruno on the top side. On the bottom side, the top side for E. Going against Manady on the Uranus. Um, I think they're gonna just rotate. Keep rotating for objectives rather than getting killed. Although oh, they have General being engaged on. Is Bush gonna throw into the tower? He's still alive now. Two more dashes from Tinker gonna secure this kill. Bush looking to get himself away, but he might run towards the wrong direction here. End up dying as Ghost will put himself on the kill board. One to six. But bottom lane, you can see Tofu is just full confidence going to push the tier one tower down on the bottom side. They're already ahead on one tower, and it seems like no one's gonna stop them pushing. Oh, actually, Uranus came just in time to stop this push. Jimmy gonna find a little bit of poke onto best player, but nothing so serious is gonna come out of it. Meanwhile, this HP crab was secured by Hoon on Akimi. Dave, that Bruno, they, he's just playing for objectives, he's not playing for kills. As you can see, he's letting his team do the kill. Oh, the stun connects. But nice, nice peel from the entire team to save Tuffle from using that purify. I'm bottom lane. Completely left open, wide open tower, and then goes to AE gonna just go ahead and let it go to trade this turtle on the top side. They really want a turtle, they know that turtle gold, if you stack it up, you ask you quite a bit of lead once you stack like three turtles, and that's that's what they're doing. But at what cost though? You know, losing the tower for a turtle, do you think that's a good trade, Faith? Well, if you can look at their uh, towers, the top towers for AE is basically pushed. They can just Oh, the lane connects, point. Lancelot gonna jump us up away, using the ultras to get away. And Bush is taking a lot of damage. The flame shot comes in. As Bush will be taken down yet again. Two to six. As Ghost will taking one more kill to stop the bleeding they have right now. PDR now making a rotation to the bottom side. Look at overall on the map. On the gold wise, it's Ghost will even up. Looking at the gold to stop. Added the 2,000 gold advantage to AE's favor. Now the gold 
has make a stop. Meanwhile, Valir has been taken down yet again by General as well as Zero on the Selena. A very, very nicely done by Gosu once again. Continue to make a comeback despite the disadvantage they put himself in early game. It's because of their early game. They're, they know what to do. They, they're abusing it. And they know A can't really fight back unless they have an advantage. Like... Yeah. You can see now mid lane. He's getting pressured by AE here. Bruno is looking for the kicks. Best player making the entrance. Kufa looking for the engage. Getting only general onto the wall and not nothing else. But Tofu ignoring everything. Just going for the tower. And tier 1 tower down. Mid lane has already been taken down. 5 minutes into the game to AE's favor. And now the next turtle is coming up in 40 seconds. PR clearing the web on the bottom side. AE once again taking the control of the map back to their pocket. See, AE is playing a lot different than they have in the past. They're they're going for objectives other than kills. At this point. They're playing very smart. They're looking at everything on the map. They know they're aware of everything because they have players all over the place. Yeah. Meanwhile, bottom lane. This is once again just going for all the turrets. All around the map, uh, the mid lane can be defended by Tinker here. You can see a little bit of poke from Oh Hoon. The stun did not connect up, barely missed. But Tinker is going to survive with 1 HP. Meanwhile, bottom lane, AE continue to look to poke right here. The stun connected. And whoa, the ultimate, the push. This Mali didn't even pop the ult before he was slain and taken down. Ghost is going to take the second turtle. But bottom tier 2 tower is going to go to AE's pocket right here. What do you think about that pick? They're playing so smart. They're trading towers, trading turtles. They don't care about the turtle at this point. Oh, once again, Tinker jumping in. Oh, he finds Kimmy 1 HP, still surviving. Flicker from PDR with Sakura kill. 1 to 1 trade so far. There's nowhere to go for General. Killing spree on Tofu. And the AE take over that team fight. Zero for a double dash. No, look at a flicker from Bush, though. Really hate Zero right now. You're not going out from here. Shut down. Come up from Jimin to secure that kill. Tofu's damage online. This guy is fully stacked as he's absolutely monstrous right now. Tofu is just taking those towers one by one. He yeah. <laughs> he's ignoring. Did you see how he ignored Karmla? I just went for the tower. Yeah. <laughs> Karmla pushed Flims at him out and he dashed back in and started hitting the turret. Damn. They just wanted the they just wanted the win. They just wanted the, the objectives. Like look at a map right now. Ten kills. Come to Yuli how how many kills to uh, AE Yuli get on there and you know uh, in a match. This is actually really clean so far. They're not dominating Gosu by kills, they're dominating them by pressure on the map. They yeah. know they can't go out. They're just keeping them back every single Exactly. You're absolutely right on that. I mean if you look at a total map, just like Fate mentioned. Ghostu right now has one tower taken from AE, where on the AE side, they have six towers. Speaking of that top lane, once again, aggression from Bush. Jump on the Hoon, getting Hoon really, really low, then ultimate comes out. Hoon will be secured by a support Bush. A 2-0 to zero trade to AE. It's now going to march on forward to the high ground tower where the wave is crashing in. They're going to brute force their way into Ghostu's base. Wow, look at that. Ignoring everything. Bush in the back. Looking to engage yet again. Not going to find a knockup just yet. And AE going to go ahead and back away. I assume Bush eat a little, eat a little, eat a little bit of damage. But it's not going to be anything major. As AE is dominating the game with whopping 8,000 gold advantage at this point. Those who can't prioritize anything at this point. They have to take waves and stay together as if to even stand a chance here. Because if they're one by one, they're just going to get picked off. Yeah. If you look at total farm, the, the two carries from Assassination Esports side, one sitting at 7,200 gold, one sitting at 6,500 gold, where compared to Bruno, I mean Kimi, Kimi only have 5,000 gold, which is less than someone like Valir. So, this is what we're talking about in ML. It's very easy to get one sided. So, um, on, on the snowball wise, and that's exactly what's happening. Bush, gonna engage onto zero here, do quite a bit of damage on the ball. Two skills, zero is at 50% HP or less. I mean, why is this guy doing so much damage right now? You can see his item build. He's building Blade of Despair. Oh my goodness. Am I going to see a Blade of Despair of Kufra? Bottom lane, Maddie taking very low. Flameshot comes out. The throw comes in. Tinker to dash well. But General put himself in a really awkward position. He will be traded off now. And in the back, zero as well. Maddie's just going to stand to fall a second later. As A already got his 3 to 0 trade. Make it 4 to 0. Who's the only one standing on the map? 1 versus 5 to defend the base. 
as AE, they're gonna try to take game one. As there's nothing they can do, nothing who can do to stop this push. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Assassination Esports wins game one.